Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, happy Monday. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time of day it is that you're watching this, I feel like I look like I'm asleep. <laughs> My name is Clarissa Young. I'm your fab motivator. That's F-A-B. I help other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, for commenting, for sharing this video and joining me along my journey. If you're looking for me, your girl is here. And most of the time, her hair already done. <laughs> Every Monday, Friday, and Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also upload the videos on YouTube. I'm the Clarice Young. Good morning, y'all. We're about to get our cardio on. I'm trying to um, take this, these braids down, out this ponytail right quick. It's something about when you got your hair flipping and stuff for you think you're cute and you bring it a little harder. Oh, this ain't going good. Good morning, Miss Daphne. Good morning, sir. Sharmika. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, everybody. There is a timer. Oh, Jesus. There is a timer going on in the background. We're going to do the same workout that we've been doing the last like two days, cardio, two mile walk in your house. Child, that one a good idea to decide to take that down last week. All right. So as soon as the time until it's to start, we're going to rock. Real soon. It's fab. It's all about finding acceptable balance, finding what works for you. Good morning at your own pace. Okay, good morning, Miss Ramona. Y'all be sure to hit the bottom left button and share this. Why I can't get this last person to sound like it never takes a button. Check one. 
with the wrong shirt. Let's go. Let's march. Good morning. from yesterday killed me my legs feel it all right so that is set one we're going to get ready to do the same thing all over i'm sorry y'all i can't get this head of mine right how's everybody feeling this monday morning Woo. i'm searching for my energy I'm coming. I'm coming, y'all. It's coming. You ain't got no choice but to come. All right. Back to your march. Back to your march.
you're watching this <sighs> this is definitely one of those mornings where I am whoop whooping through this thing look at this head of mine Whew. I am whoop whooping through this thing right here y'all whoop whooping through this thing this morning woke up tired I give you a little, I give you a little TMI at the end of the video, so stay tuned for the TMI. That might explain a little bit why I'm tired. But hey, we got one more round. Let's get it. <laughs> and it's about to start. Last round. Last round, Mark. Good morning. Are we done? One more round. Let's
grab it and push it. <laughs>
water. Grab you some water. My cup, my baby got me. Anything you know is after your mouth. Breathe into your nose. <sighs> Out through your mouth. All right, y'all. I'll say all right one more time. Into your nose. Get your breath. Watching this. My name is Clarissa Young and I'm your fab 
motivator. That's F-A-B. I help other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, for commenting, for sharing this video and joining me along my journey. If you're looking for me, your girl is here every Monday, every Friday, and every Saturday <coughs> at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <coughs> and I also upload the videos on YouTube under Clarissa Hill. At the end of each video, I like to give a little bit of tips, motivation, and encouragement. Y'all, if you're just watching me for the first time, we have a saying when we do our workout. First of all, it's fab. Everything that we do is fab. Find an acceptable balance. Find it out what works for you. You'll see that a few people put modify to modify in the comments, meaning even if somebody's doing something at the most simplest form, you modify it and you make it to where it fits you. And then we have this saying called whoop whoop. Um, meaning basically you pushing your way through it when you don't know how you're gonna make it through it, but you whoop whoop through it. W is willpower to know mentally I can do this thing. I, I'm gonna set some goals and I can do this thing and, and I know what God, I got this. H, hope. To hope to, to, to visualize yourself at your goals. Visualize yourself accomplishing whatever it is that you want. If you can't hope for something, if you can't vision yourself with it, nine times out of 10, you will never obtain it because how can you obtain something that you can't even see yourself having? Um, optimistic optimistic is to be positive minded about everything that you're going through to focus on what you do have versus focusing on what you do not have optimistic oath oath is to say i made a promise to myself or to make a promise to yourself i made a promise to myself that i'm gonna do this thing i'm gonna work on my journey i'm gonna have some days where i don't feel like it but this is what I said I was gonna do. And so even if I have to slow it down a notch, I'm still not gonna give up on myself. Perseverance, so when you get those times when you don't feel like it and it takes everything in you to get it done, you push, you push and you fight, you push and you fight because there is no quitting, there is no giving up. And that's whoop, whoop, my friend. And when I tell you, my sisters, <laughs> my brothers, if you hear, I was whoop, whooping, through that thing today. Most of the time I got so much energy, like I can't sit still. Today I'm like, Lord, how many more rounds? <laughs> uh, and I, I, I know part of it is just a simply an attack of the enemy. Part of it is an attack of the enemy. And then also, um, to hear, here come the TMI that I said I would talk about a little bit later, is that I, I also have fibroids. I have fibroids. And so I have irregular cycles. And so this morning, well, yesterday, I started my ministration. All women, we all grown here. It's for like the third time in the last 30 days. And so I know on top of everything that that's also like, girl, you ain't got no energy. And I understand why, but that's, you gotta push, you gotta fight. As you see, I didn't overdo it. I'm not gonna overdo myself to where I fall out over here on the floor in front of everybody. But you, you push yourself through it because I know sometimes people ask me all the time, they're like, Rissa, how do I do it when I don't feel like doing it? How do I do it when I hurt? How do I do it? Like, and the only thing I can say is, baby, you just gotta do it. You gotta do it. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing type attitude. It doesn't have to be, you know, it, it doesn't have to be all or all. You just give it some of you. Give it some of you and you pray on that thing and you try to do the best that you can do because we have those days. We have those days to where you wake up and everything is effortless, right? And those days are normally easy, right? Those days when you wake up and you're on point, you got everything in mind, you're mentally strong, you're physically strong, everything's going good around you. So those days are easy. But however, the real challenge, the real character in you comes out when things are not easy. Well, let me, when I say the real character in you, Yes, the real character in you, but when you allow that real character 
in you to come out that real character and you come out it's when you really see what you got going on because sometimes we got to dig deep inside of us to, to do stuff i know many of us were working full-time jobs and we like you know what i don't feel like going to work a uh, 8 10 12 hour shift and then coming home and exercising but then that's when you dig down inside of you inside that internal spirit inside of you and you say lord i need to get my health together lord i know i didn't work a 10 12 hour shift but i'm trying to get my family to financial freedom you know I don't, I don't feel like working a side business a side gig a side hustle but that's when you find that strength inside of you to push and push and push and push and pull to make that thing come out right you've been working you're tired you're taking care of the kids and the husband just ain't acting right he just ain't acting right lord i don't feel like him and his drama today i don't feel like dealing with his attitude today that's when you pull that oomph on the side of you to still smile, to still show love. Even though you're tired, to still, and you're frustrated, to still, to still go. The kids acting up. And you're like, I didn't pray for you for the 11th year. I didn't ask you to do right. I didn't gave you everything, but you're still acting up. The bill, man, I didn't paid the bill. Got a little bit of balance left, but don't you see, I pay half of it, and, and I'm working, and I got more bills, and I got money. But what do I do? You push. You whoop, whoop. You pray, and we're gonna all see a brighter day, right? And everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. The situations that you go in, it's up to you to decide if you let those situations bear you down and hold you up in there, or if you find a way to whoop, whoop through it and overcome. And so I love you all so much. I promise I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read the comments and see what you say and respond back to it. And I got, I got, when I tell you, I got a whole list of stuff. First of all, today is the last day. Well, yesterday was the last day to order the shirts, shirts, so I'm going to make the orders for the shirts today. I got a whole lot of stuff in our group we're doing with my um, sisterhood of help. We're doing a 90-day run where we're putting everything into our business to make sure that we run hard for 90 days on top of the regular stuff of the business. Then y'all know I'm finishing up my book. I've written my book. I'm down to the editing. I got three more chapters that I'm editing and pretty much done with the book. <clears throat> My birthday is this week, so I'm trying to plan and get things right for y'all for my party for my birthday on top of trying to get the stuff right for my birthday. Then I'm a, I'm a wife and a mother. <laughs> and so I'm like, Lord, how, church, church, I got evangelism tonight and, and, and different things. I'm like, Lord, how many different, if there's anybody that's in the Broward County area that's looking for a church home, I attend the Dream Center, um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And when I tell you, well, it's, it's, it's Dream Center FTL, but it's in Lauder Hill. When I tell you my church is awesome, it's awesome, it's help. This this different stuff that I'm pulling together, y'all, this, this, this faith and this whoop whooping and pushing where you don't feel like pushing, this comes from my church. This this comes from me being able to grow my faith and, and learn, you know, because I promise you, I used to be the type of person, and I still do suffer from anxiety a little bit, but I, like, I, I almost tried to have a panic attack while we was working out. I held it together for us. But I used to be the type of person that, let's say my car was going to act up, right? And before, the car can say one clink, and, and it wasn't no new car, so it made a lot of clinks all the time. <laughs> the car can say one clink, and I would be overwhelmed, I would be in tears, I would be depressed, not even knowing what was wrong with the car. You know, not even getting a chance for the car to break down, but that's just how I was, that, you know, that, that what if notion always kept me in, in, Isolation basically what it is. 